Hi folks, this is Aaron Dorr with Wyoming Gun Owners with an update for voters at House District Number 53. We're talking about most of Gillette. The city of Gillette encompasses the majority of this seat uh, up here in the Campbell County area in Northeast Wyoming. And this area, this race rather, features a longtime stalwart for gun owners in Roy Edwards, Representative Roy Edwards, versus the challenging Thomas Murphy. And we're getting questions about this race for a bunch of reasons about where these candidates stand. So we have this whole race diagrammed for you here so you can see what's going on with these two candidates in this race and make your own best decision as we approach the August 18 primaries. Roy Edwards is one of the longest champions for gun rights that we have remaining right now in the Wyoming House. A lot of you guys know that we've had some great pro-gun leaders uh, not seek re-election. We've had some who are jumping or trying to jump over to the Senate. But in the House, Roy Edwards has always been one of the best advocates for gun owners. And these days, he is the loudest voice for Second Amendment freedom that we have remaining right now in the Wyoming House. Roy's record speaks far more than I ever could about telling you how, bro, how pro-gun he is. So let's just review it. Going back to 2017, Roy Edwards voted yes on WIGO's HB 137, which would repeal uh, the deadly gun-free zones that we have in government buildings and on college campuses, uh, but specifically government buildings here in Wyoming. He was a yes vote when we needed him in 2017. Later on that session, he was a yes vote on House Bill 136. This bill was similar to gun-free zone repeal, but it dealt with gun-free zones on UW and all college campuses in Wyoming, basically saying that they are not allowed to ban guns on their property for those people who are legally allowed to own and possess and carry firearms. Ray Edwards was a yes vote on that in 2017. In 2018, Roy Edwards was one of the leading advocates for the Stand Your Ground law that Wyoming gun owners passed in the law that year. Roy helped me go around and get more co-sponsors on the bill. We ended up having, I think it was 37 combined co-sponsors on Stand Your Ground law, House Bill 168. And Roy Edwards was, the, was a yes vote when we needed him on Stand Your Ground law in 2018. The guy just never quits, right? 2019, he was a yes vote on HB 183, our bill, our attempt again to deal with deadly gun-free zones in Wyoming in 2019. He was a co-sponsor and a yes vote. And this year, 2020, he was a co-sponsor to House Bill 180, again, the bill that dealt with deadly gun-free zones. The bill is not passed. Maybe you've gathered that by now. But every single time we need him, we as in gun owners, Roy Edwards stands up and fights for the Second Amendment. He's just one of those kind of guys that you don't even have to really go and talk to him. You know, uh, my job is to go and advocate for WIGO members in the Capitol. And some guys, you have to go and work a lot because you never know where they're going to stand. Roy is just not that guy. It's, it's almost a waste of time going to talk to him, but he's just a nice guy, so he's fun to talk to. That's Roy Edwards, champion for gun owners. No one better. Now we got Thomas Murphy. Now what do we know about Thomas Murphy besides he likes to take cool kid photographs? Ooh, get these glamour selfies, right? Glamour headshots. No, we know a lot more about Thomas Murphy than that he has a little bit of an ego complex because as the former mayor of Gillette, Thomas Murphy was a long time proponent and supporter of gun control. Uh, back when Senator Bouchard ran WIGO, they dealt repeatedly with Mayor Murphy at the time and his attempts to register weapons with and via the Gillette Police Department. But it's a lot worse than that because when he was a mayor, Thomas Murphy served on served on the National League of Cities. Now this is a very, very anti-gun national organization that is designed to show municipal you know, office holders how to advance their agenda. And when it comes to guns, they are always an enemy to the Second Amendment. But see, Thomas Murphy wasn't just on the League of Cities, he was on their legislative steering committee. And it's this committee that came out with their report which Thomas Murphy was involved with, that has set the tone for their organization for a long time. They support banning the AR-15 and hundreds 
of similar firearms. Thomas Murphy, that is, supports banning the AR-15 and hundreds of similar firearms. Murphy supports a national gun owner's registry, otherwise known as universal background checks. This is Michael Bloomberg's big initiative, right? Every firearms transfer, even between grandfather and grandson, or you know, a father and his adult daughter heading off, you know, at, at get, get her own place for the first time, any transfer of a firearm if it does not go through a government permission process first, you would be a criminal. That's Thomas Murphy. He also wants to mandate a 30-day waiting period to buy firearms. Now, you guys know that we had that bill this year in Wyoming, a three-day waiting period from Representative Dan Furphy and others. This would go way beyond that, a 30-day waiting period on all firearms transfers, 30 days. Imagine being in Denver right now, and they, all, they, they wanna make us into Colorado anyway, so it's a good mind game. Imagine being in Denver, or any one of these cities that has these Antifa thugs rioting, burning, and looting their way downtown, across town, to head in your direction. You wanna buy a firearm, maybe you wanna buy a handgun, an AR-15, a shotgun, whatever, because you know the police can't be counted on because they can't be everywhere at one time, especially when they're being attacked by politicians. You go to buy a firearm and you find out you have to wait 30 days. That's what this moron wants to make law here in Wyoming, to make you a criminal if you don't wait a month to buy a gun. Good luck stopping an armed mob outside your neighborhood uh, if, you can't own, if you can't buy a gun, thanks to Thomas Murphy. He wants to eliminate and I mean eliminate all private sales of firearms. This again is a Michael Bloomberg initiative. They want every firearms transfer on a registry in a database. They wanna know where every gun is and how many guns you own. Ask yourself why. Well, we all know why. They wanna, they wanna confiscate them eventually and they have to know where they are to do that. Thomas Murphy supports this. And finally, they wanna ban all magazines over 10 rounds capacity because you know, criminals are gonna obey these magazine bans, right? No, all of this is designed to put you in the hot seat. It's all designed to put gun owners in prison. Criminals won't follow any of this. We all know that, Thomas Murphy knows that. He just doesn't care because he's an anti-gun radical who wants to attack your second amendment rights and attack gun owners who want to stand up and fight against them. And that's exactly what's going on in this race. The moderates in Cheyenne, they don't like people like Roy Edwards because he fights for our freedom. He fights for the Second Amendment. He fights for proud gun owners. Moderates hate him for that, and the liberals hate him for that, and the lobbyists hate him for that, and they want him gone. That's what it comes down to. So as you guys approach this August 18 primary, take a good hard look at the facts because these facts are objective. You can verify these bill numbers, these dates. You can see that Roy Edwards has always fought for gun owners. And you can see that Thomas Murphy has been fighting against your gun rights for a very, very long time. If you're a voter, a gun owner, especially in this district, Number 53, again, it's most of the city of Gillette. Please make sure and share this video with every other gunner you know because they have to know the facts on where these candidates stand. This race is really important to the future of our gun rights here in Wyoming. So guys, that's what we have in this race. If you're not yet a member of WyGo, I cannot uh, stress enough how important that is to get involved today. Go to joinwygo.com. More to come, guys. Stay tuned.